Hi, Scizorin here with another video and this is talking about Mythic Orbs and the Scourged bases in the League. So a lot of people have probably been finding that the Scourged items that drop are absolute dog shit and there is no use for them and you might as well hide them from your filter. However, I decided that that isn't actually the case. They are, however, fairly bad for looking at them and being like, hey, this is a good item. But they do in fact have a purpose and that purpose is being good bases for Mythic Orbs. Sometimes you'll find a Scourged item that has maybe a good unique and maybe something that's even pretty reasonable to a Mythic Orb, but it has a, a really, really good implicit and the stats are shit, right? That's what you're looking for. You're looking for something like, you know, plus one max stress, plus gem level, uh, plus flat energy shield on like bases that are energy shield based. And then they become pretty good. And to that effect, I messaged Neversync and I was like, how about we make a filter type thing that are specifically looking at good mythic bases. Now, we also did, there was a discussion about mythic orbs on Reddit, and obviously there are some items that are like tier zero, like Headhunter and uh, Mageblood. That basically means it's gonna be, I think one in 800 mythic orbs or something like that, very similar to ancient orb stats. So we just know they're exceedingly rare. You're very rarely going to get a Headhunter. You're very rarely going to get a uh, Mageblood or Mage Hunter, whatever that thing new belt is called, right? They're exceedingly rare. So what we did was we made a mythic based filter for things that are actually reasonable to get. Some items that are tier one, very few, but uh, most of the items that are tier two or tier three in rarity and have good filters. So I'm gonna teach you how to put that on your filter right now. So you go into your filter blade and you load your filter and I've already put this on my end filter and I'll probably be not lazy and put it on my other ones too. But you basically, you click load this loads in, then you go to overview, you click on presets. Here you search for scourge, click enter, and then you find only mythic bases scourged items shown. Now, this isn't going to show everything that's good and maybe it's not a perfect list, but we thought it was a pretty great idea. It features a lot of gloves because gloves have a lot of good corruptions, like, you know, despair on hit, like curses on hit, and just items that we thought were, hey, if you find this with a good implicit, it's a pretty good thing to use a mythic orb on to get a good unique. So hopefully this helps and it'll hide everything else uh, of the scourged items. I was about to literally hide everything from my filter and then I was like, you know what? Let's at least show the ones with good bases. Can't, can't guarantee that it's a perfect list, right? Because some items are just too rare that you won't have a reasonable chance to mythic orb them. But I think we did a pretty good job. But either way, I hope this helps you and makes you find uh, Mythic Orbs slightly more useful as well as Scourged items. I know they're a bit like grim to look at because they're not smart rolled. They're not like, they're just pretty trash, but they do have a use for the Mythic Orbs. So far, for example, I've gotten a Tinker Skin with plus one max rest from a Mythic Orb. And so it's, it can be pretty cool. And uh, I wanted to share that with people. So hope it helps. Let me know in the comments down below if you've had any luck with Mythic Orbing things. Sub if you liked the video, but more importantly, try to die. Less than I do.